and we back with another episode of It's Just Different and Morton. And today we have Joshua Lord. Joshua Lord, Big Josh Lord. Man, how old are you and what grade are you going to be in this year? I'm 18 years old. I'm 10 out of 12th grade. Okay, then. So you coming up on your senior year this year. This is a big year for you, man. Mm-hmm. Big year, big year. So what position you play? I play D tackle on fullback and I play tackle on offense. Okay, then. Yeah, you a, you a pretty big guy. Tell me what size are you again? Uh, I weigh about 330. How tall four, are you? 6'4". Six, 6'4", six, six, four, six, four, 330, man. Yeah, you a man. You a man if you're doing all that playing. Then you versatile playing out in positions like that. That's, that's, that show a lot about you. So, man, tell me a little about yourself. Uh, very explosive. Uh, I can learn in, really anything about football or outside of football, um, especially a student athlete. So you okay then? So you like? I like the fact that you put that you a student athlete. So you a student athlete in the classroom for sure, and then also you a student of the game. So you saying you basically pick on to anything. You very coachable. Mm-hmm. Hey, that, hey, those those are two great qualities that you have right now. If you're doing that at a high level, bro, you're going to make it a long way. Because, like I said, being versatile and being coachable is the easiest way to make any roster in whatever you're trying to do. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and being a student athlete is the best way to make it in life, especially if you're trying to go play on beyond high school when it really, really starts mattering about getting in that classroom because – Nobody's going to be making you go. Mm-hmm. So, man, why do you play football? Uh, just came to my nowhere, really. just wanted to play. And we needed to play for my mom. Okay, then. So your mom is, is one of your driving forces behind, keeping you motivated to keep yeah. going. Hey, that, that's, hey that's, a great, that's a great driving force right there, bro. Because one thing about it, you only get one mama. So if she your motivation to you, which she should be, that's like I said. That's a that's a good that's a good fuel. That's like that's really like un- having unlimited gas right there. Cause you only get one mama. Mm-hmm. So what is your biggest goal for this season? This season, uh, for myself, I want to end the season with a hundred at least a hundred tackles, average ten a game, and win the championship. Hey, that's that's some big that's some big goals you chasing there. But one thing about it, I'm always a person to go big or go home, man. You set you set your expectations and you and you chase them, bro. And you try to work past them. To be honest with you, don't even just try to chase to touch it and be and be satisfied with that. You just put your head down and keep working and try to pass it. But that's that's how you that's how you get that's how you get better though by setting goals and expectations in life. So what's your biggest goal for your career? Career. Uh, end the season with a high note, really. So I'm, t- I'm saying like past high school, like when it, when your football career is over with, what is your goals? Like how far are you trying to take it? What you like? How like what you trying to do as a football career? Like what's your goals for your career? Uh, I want to go back and be a coach and teach young kids what I learned. Hey, hey, hey! That's 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 very real. That's a very realistic goal right there for a career. Because one thing about it, football is only gonna be here for a little while. You only gonna be able to do that for a little while, and even with even with how the world moving now, like I said, the expectancy in the NFL. If you do make the NFL, if anybody makes the NFL, the expectancy is probably anywhere from like five to six years, something like that. Don't quote me on that, but it's something like that to to play at a high level and, and actually, you know, what I'm saying they gonna know by then that they gonna replace you or you gonna be one of those guys. You feel me? So. Having having that mindset that you have to want to come back and give back the knowledge that you have obtained from all the coaches that you've had, that's a great that's that's a great mindset, bro. Cause that's 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 what I live by. To be honest with you, like I didn't make it, so that's why I, that's why I came back and coached. Cause I felt like I can give somebody something that I didn't have. You feel what I'm saying? Um, so going forward, bro, let's talk a little about you and your teammates. Who is your favorite player on the team and why? Uh, my favorite player is Robert Jennings. And why is that? Uh, he's versatile. I like how he brings energy. And even if he have a bad day, he still brings good positive energy to, towards practice or in the right room. Okay, then. So who do you consider the biggest leader on the team? Uh, my biggest leader, DJ Polly. And why is that? Uh... 
just by just by way he talked to older and younger people behind the oil head of him, he still tries to lead other people to be successful. That's great quality right there, cause like I always tell y'all, man, being a leader ain't got no age limit on it. Like shit, you can be a leader of a high school team in the ninth grade. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. Like you said, it's just about communicating and knowing how to talk to people and knowing how, cause that's all coaching is. It's just learning how to get through to people. You know what I'm saying? It ain't really just telling you nothing that you don't know. It's just expanding on something that you that you needed to work out a, a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and long somebody, like if, if, if it's presented to a person the right way, that's what coaching is. When it's presented to you the right way, you take it. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. When it ain't presented to you the right way, it's not. So that's the same way with being a leader. You ain't got to wait to be a leader, shoot. Being a leader is just how you present something to somebody, and if you gonna live by it or stand on it, you feel what I'm saying? So that's a, that's a good that's good quality that DJ got right there, and I do definitely agree with you on that. He's a very good leader. So, um, what coach is your favorite and why? My favorite coach, uh, Coach Gerald. And why is that? Because uh, he stands by what, like, if he says a like, if he makes. Like uh, if he say he wanted to do something, he gonna push everybody that's on his staff or on his team to be able to do what he wants to be successful, and he gonna try to do it to, as as a coach as himself. Right. So basically, you saying Coach Gerald, he don't just he don't just jump out there and say he just want to be great. He gonna make sure everybody around him is just as great when he when he, when he jump up and want to do something. Make sure everybody. Eats. That's a great that's a great quality to have as a especially as a head coach. Like I said, being a leader, it's just it's just about getting people to move. How like you know what I'm saying how you would move basically yeah. that's how that's how that's basically what being a leader is and I and I definitely agree with you with the coach Jerry pick because shoot he's definitely one of my favorite coaches here if not the favorite one because he is gonna keep he is gonna like I said when he when some when he wants some move everybody gonna move it ain't just gonna be him moving and reaping no benefits of moving it's gonna be everybody reaping the benefits so that's some good quality to have especially as a head coach to have somebody that you can trust like that okay my guy. If you could get, if you could pick any school to get a full ride scholarship to in any sport that you play, because I know you're a dual sport athlete, what would it be, and what school would it be, and why? My school, it'll be LSU. And why is that? Uh, I see. Well, as I watch TV, I see a lot of people, a lot of kids that loves the loves the atmosphere at um, LSU, the fan base, and just a lot of coaching staff that's on the coaching staff. They all want everybody to be successful at the same time. Mm -hmm. De definitely the fan base is, uh, is, is ridiculous up there. Like it would make, it'll make anybody want to go to LSU to be honest with you. And then Coach O, like you said, when him and his staff, they year after year, they, they press through and it's always something great just coming through wherever he's at, to be honest with you. And like like you said, they definitely got a great atmosphere. So I, I can see you playing. I can see you playing at LSU though. I can definitely see that. But you're gonna have to work really really hard to get there. But I definitely can see you playing at a LSU. Okay then. If, okay then we just gonna have a little fun right here. If you was a coordinator and it's the last game, championship for it all, and it's fourth and goal on the six yard line, everyone healthy, who gets the ball and why? I'm giving it to Bob Jones. And why is that? Look at him. <laughs> wouldn't give it to him. <laughs> yeah, he is. He is massive, bro. He is. He is different. He very different, bro. I, I don't wait. I can't go against you on that pick. Definitely can't go against you. So when it's all said and done, bro, not just football, but life in, as an overall, how would you want to be remembered? Like a hundred years from now, you don't live the best life you can. You out of here. You and everybody bring up Josh Lord. I want to be remembered as a leader on and off the field, really. Just to make sure that the city is right, that the kids, make sure they have a foundation to build upon and to have fun. I always want to be remembered as a person that had fun, huh? Yeah. Hey, that's a great quality, bro. I, I, I hear a lot of interviews, and like I said, I, like from coaches and everybody, I hear a lot of interviews, and like you were saying, a lot of people don't even bring up fun, and that's, yeah. that's the main thing that we really need to be having on a daily basis because for one, we alive. For two, we're doing something that we love. And for three, like I said, we alive. So, like, you feel me? Like, we should always have fun in everything that we're doing. And, 
And I, I like the fact that you brought that up, man. You make sure you keep that mindset. So if people want to find you on any of your social media outlets to recruit you, to follow you after this interview, you, t t to find you on Facebook, might be some girl like this interview and want to find you on, on Facebook, what would be your social media outlets? Uh, on Twitter, my name is Joshua Lloyd. Uh, Instagram, 601.josh with two H's. And Facebook is Joshua Lloyd. Okay then, Josh, man, we really enjoyed this interview with you, man. We hope you have a great season. And like all I can say is it's just different that morning.